Well, it seems the Dillian White saga with PEDs just seems to get worse as former Anthony Joshua opponent Eric Molina speaks out on UK. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Let me jump right into it. Smash the like button if you guys could. Eric Molina, he previously fought Deontay Wilder, even Rock Wilder in their fight, but he was ultimately stopped and Chris Ariola, as well as UK fighter, Anthony Joshua. Now, after the Joshua fight, he tested positive for a banned substance. And I want you guys to read this. You see, he's posting a lot about Eric Molina. He's posting a lot about the Dillian White situation because he believes, look, he's posting Wilder's interview with Behind the Gloves, um, Dillian White. He believes he was unfairly treated in his situation post Joshua fight and villainized and condemned from UCAD. Yet Dillian White, you know, was allowed to fight. And, you know, people are making it sound like him testing positive and then being led into an Oscar Rivas fight is OK. This is what he put. So Eric Molina says, UCAD banned me two years for this. An anti-inflammatory. This is not an anabolic steroid. This was openly submitted to them. $25,000 was requested for an appeal. They released to the media that I was a PED cheat at Sky Sports. And he, you know, he tagged a different people. Showtime World Boxing News. So he feels he got, you know, the short end of the stick. Tribe Dossay DX or whatever. This is what he like. There's an ingredient in there that is on the banned substance list. And he says it was a whole smear campaign after he failed in the Joshua fight, right? This is the ingredient, dexamethasone. De dexamethasone, right? And for having this in his system, he got banned for two years, right? It says dexamethasone has many uses in treatment of cancer. It is classified as a glutocorticosteroid. So that's not anabolic steroid. That's what he's saying. There's a difference between anabolic steroid, hence the name. It says what dexamethasone is used for as an anti-inflammatory medicine. It relieves inflammation in various parts of the body. It is specifically to decrease swelling associated with tumors of the spine and brain and to treat eye inflammation, to treat or prevent allergies or allergic reactions as a treatment of certain kinds of autoimmune diseases, skin conditions, asthma, and other lung conditions. As treatment of variety of cancers like leukemia, lymphoma, melanoma, and to treat nausea and vomiting associated with chemotherapy drugs, etc. And you guys can look up more. I'm just kind of giving you guys uh, the cliff notes. It says how it's given is given to you in pill form. It's available in different. You could take different doses. Side effects. Important things to remember about dexamethasone. Most people do not experience all of the side effects listed. Side effects are often predictable in terms of their onset and duration. The following side effects are common, occurring in greater than 30 percent of patients who took dexamethasone. Increased appetite, irritability, Difficulty sleeping, insomnia, swelling in your ankles, fluid retention, heartburn, muscle weakness, impaired, impaired wound healing, increased blood sugar levels. You know, some people also had headaches, dizziness and mood swings, cataracts and bone thin and bone thinning with long term use. So basically what Eric Molina is saying is he was like treated like a criminal and villainized for having this this banned substance in his system. And I'm not saying it's right to have anything. But he says he submitted this to them and still got treated like this. It says UCAD banned me two years for this, an anti-inflammatory. And I just read the, you know, what he got busted for. And the side effects weren't really PED type of like boost, you know, from from what I'm reading. You know, he said they charged me. They were going to charge me twenty five thousand dollars to appeal just to make an appeal. And they released to the media i was a ped cheat right and 
he also did an interview with World Boxing News exclusive. I still use B12. UCAD banned me for today, says Eric Molina. The American was flagged after losing to Anthony Joshua in 2016 and has three months left to serve, awaiting to get a final ruling. Molina was flagged with dexamethasone, a drug used to treat nerve damage, skin conditions, and allergies. Despite fighting three times since Joshua, the drummer boy revealed that he still uses the substance every other weekend and even used it this very day. Nothing untoward has been picked up by the U.S. testing policies. Molina says police would not act if they found it in his possession. Quote, the B12 can be used out of competition. I failed the test due to an, to the anti-inflammatory contained in it. But UCAD released statements to the world media as if I was a PED cheat and as if they actually found and busted someone for steroids, Molina explained. If that's the way they see me, I want them to ban me for life. Ban me from fighting in the UK. I strongly urge them to do that because I want no part of that corruption. Wow. He said their media release put out on me reads like I was a dirty, filthy cheat. I knew I had 13 years of boxing behind me and I've never cheated in that whole time. I am a school teacher and I am a public servant. They didn't care about what they released on the substance that was found in my system. But the truth is, I carry it in my backpack and I use it every weekend. It's not a substance that can land me in jail or anything like that. Wow. Says, despite this and serving almost two years for the band, I have an email from the UCAD saying that they're going to come up with the final conclusion about suspending me for two more years for some sparring I did last July. It's a year ago now. So why would they be sitting around worried about a sparring session that I did in America over a year ago? The same day this email happened was the same day Dillian White's story happened. I am on the sidelines and it is unfair to me. The whole thing about my case is I got hit with an anti-inflammatory in my system. I got penalized with the two year ban. So I wanted to see them correctly punish their own. Wow. This man, this the, whoever aligned this this Oscar Rivas Dillian White fight to happen, they they fucked up royally because now it's on. People want answers. This is this sounds like some real life something needs to be looked into. This sounds like corruption because I remember hearing about Eric Molina and you know full disclosure, I just heard that he he tested positive, but I was like, oh, he had already got knocked out by Anthony Joshua. So I didn't really think much of it. I didn't like do the research and know that he was on an anti-inflammatory. Again, it's, it's a banned substance, a banned substance. It is what it is. But he says that he let them know he openly, he said this was openly submitted to them and they still banned him. They still let the fight go on. You know, Joshua did fight him and knock him out and they let the fight go on. And on top of that, after they came out and criminalized him in the media. Wow. And to corroborate everything that he is saying, it says Boxer Band. This is UCAD's official.org.uk. UCAD, you see? Boxer Band for two years, 2008, you know, May 22nd, 2018. Uh, American boxer Eric Molina has been suspended from all sport for a period of two years following an anti-doping violation rule violation adrv mr molina tested positive for the president's or for the presence of the prohibited substance dexomethasone following an in-competition test on december 11 2016 after he fought anthony joshua mr molina was charged with an adrv pursuant to article 2.1 and the anti-doping rules presence of prohibited substances or its metabolites or markers in an athlete sample so how how is dillian white gonna walk away from this when he had metabolites in his system for actual anabolic steroids you know diana bowl any i told you anytime it has the bol at the end or lol or ol those are usually the harder like stanozole and you know those different types though those are the ones that clenbuterol you know these different types that you can the names even sound like super strong UCAD chief executive Nicole Sapstead said every athlete is solely responsible for what is in their system and must adhere to the strict liability principle all athletes at any level should familiarize themselves with the water prohibited list and ensure that they do not put themselves in a position where they may breach anti-doping rules and I'm so glad that they printed this He's ineligible from 2017 to October. 
And then on top of this, Eric Molina is saying that they tried to suspend him for sparring because I guess they want him to be inactive totally. They want him just to, to, even though he's banned from competition in the UK right now, they want him to just, I guess, sit and, and rot and not stay sharp because he had this in the system. And he said he submitted this dexamethasone to them. So this is going to be interesting because I need to see what the UCAD plans on doing with matchroom fighter Dillian White, you know, because this is a second time fail. Eric Molina, to my knowledge, I know he fought Chris Ariola previously and Deontay Wilder. I don't remember him failing a previous test. Dillian White, however, has failed a previous test before. Right. And Eric Molina wants justice. This is a bad look, people. This is a bad look for you, Cat. Now what goes on in the dark comes to light. This is when we find out stuff. Because you can't have rules like this and then bend them for who you want the, to bend the rules to. You know what I'm saying? That's not how that works. Look, this is an arbitration. They got a period of ineligibility imposed for tribunal was two years. So Eric Molina, this is his whole, like, the whole script. Man, this is crazy. Look. Eric Molina claimed UK wanted to ban him for two more years for sparring in America. He said he got a so you can imagine you can imagine how Eric Molina feels in this situation. He's probably like, what the hell? Like, yeah, I got to see what you do to Dillian White if you made me. And, and that's going to be bad. Listen, if I'm Andy Ruiz, don't take the fight in the UK, bro. They got some stuff. They, they have things that they got to answer. Don't take the fight in the UK because. Dillian White was allowed to fight. Eric Molina was allowed to fight. But then they criminalized uh, Eric Molina and villainized him and made him look like he was just on the heaviest of drugs. And then now UCAD, they've been reached out to in the BBOC and all that. And they said, we have no comment at this time. Man, somebody's going to have to explain this too. If I'm Andy Ruiz, I am not fighting. I am not fighting in the, the UK. Fuck that. The other thing that's very questionable since all this stuff is coming out billy joe saunders failed a drug test for a drug that is okay in the uk but in boston and in america most places states in america whatever he had in his alleged nasal spray is banned in america all on the prohibited list so as they said a fighter an athlete has to be advised of the wada list and the banned substance list so and then Billy Joe Saunders fought on a Frank Warren card shortly after that. I think he fought at like cruiserweight, you know, in December or something like that. So, man, it's looking shaky for the UK. It's looking real crazy. This is Eric Molina also said the UK had, had one job and one purpose. Last week, they single handedly stooped boxing to an entirely new low. There's no reason they can give to justify their corruption. They need to be arrested and prosecuted. Wow, he's pissed. Eric Molina's pissed. Man, this don't make sense, though. It, you know, how can how can an american go over there and fight in the uk and he tests pos positive for anti-inflammatory again exhibit a dexamethasone and none of these side effects are what you would what you would consider like ped game in the system i'm not saying it should be banned it's probably banned for whatever reason but it doesn't seem like it gives you increased resistance and you know your recovery time this is, sounds like something for people with like eczema and psoriasis and people going through chemo and have skin conditions and glaucoma or some shit like if you look at the side effects none of them are providing um things that would help i guess a fighter irritability i mean does that really help you increased appetite you know he's a heavyweight you don't have to like really make no weight weight uh difficulty sleeping how does that help you as a fighter swelling ankles heartburn muscle weakness you know so it sounds like you know, he's taking it maybe because he has to, you know, I know they sell it in, in Mexico. You can get a lot of stuff in the pharmacy down there, but um, I'm not really seeing I'm on drugs.com. I'm seeing this dexamethasone and I'm not really seeing any of the, the major benefits. You know, people with psoriasis, lupus, like I said, autoimmune diseases and shit. You should not use if you have a a virus tuberculosis you know i'm not really seeing how that would benefit you as a fighter and they they gave him a two-year ban and wanted to ban him for two more years for sparring more common aggression agitation anxiety blurred vision dizziness see they're like how does any of this irritability mental depression mood changes nervousness noisy rattling breathing 
numbness or tingling of the arms and legs. It doesn't really sound like it helps you compete as a fighter. Swelling of the fingers, hands, and lower leg. Weight gain, troubled breathing, trouble. Like, these are side effects for this shit, you know? But when it when you look up Diana Bull, you know? That's, that's hard. Debo. That sound like some Friday shit. Debo. That shit, Debo, that sound crazy. Diana Ball Peels, a detailed review. There are several reasons why you land on this page. You might be a professional bodybuilder athlete in search of a way to bulk during your off season or to cut. See, that already tells you right now. How did it become famous? It's part of the C-17 steroid family. Androgenic anabolic steroid, which can push your limits, seriously enhance your performance and offer you a great physique way faster than you would have done on your own. See, I mean, it's telling this is this is the 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 meta uh, metabolites that Dillian White had in his system. Rapidly up your body's free testosterone. Give a boost so that red blood cell production increases. Seriously upgrades your uh, metabolic capacity, enhances your the synthesis of protein, allows you to better better recovery rates, have better recovery rates, ups your body's ability to retain nitrogen, helps you burn fat, increases your strength while decreasing your fatigue. See, this is some different shit than the dexamethasone or whatever. Wow, this shit is crazy. The UCAD, they need to be investigated with a fine tooth comb and a microscope as to what they're doing. And it, I told you it's looking bad. We on the case. New media. We on the case. It, it it needs to be. It needs to come out to the forefront. And then on top of that, they put they put articles out there saying, hey, fighters need to know what's in their system on their own website. So I can't wait to see what happens. Boxer banned for two years. Dillian White's a, a two time offender. You know, all athletes at any level should familiarize themselves with the WADA prohibited list and ensure they do not put themselves in a position where they may breach anti-doping. Now, the, the big difference, too, that looks crazy is Eric Molina fought Anthony Joshua, got knocked out and then failed. The test came to, to light. So I can understand why that fight was led, you know, was pushed through. Dillian White, these the Diana Bowl and all the whatever else was in his system, right? That test came through, came through before the Oscar Rivas fight. And to make that more fucked up, Oscar Rivas's promoter says they had no idea. They didn't hear nothing about it. This does sound corrupt. I don't care who says what. You know. Look, this is another exclusive from World Boxing News. Somebody accused Oscar Rivas of failing the test. And he said, this is a smoke screen. He never as an amateur, never as a pro 10 plus years. He said, I don't know who accused him of failing, but that never happened. But let me see if I can find it. Look, Bob Arum talking about it. Bob Arum calls the BBB of C's conduct surrounding White Rivas an absolute disgrace, quote, and says the commission's integrity is on the line. Exactly. Shout out to Bob Arum. Arum now feels panic about Lomachenko going to the UK for the Campbell fight. Yeah, something. Look. This is Oscar Rivas, one of his promoters. Yvonne Michael. We are still amazed on what has happened and more. We don't understand the overall, what has been the overall process. If White tested positive for a PED, why was he cleared to fight? On what grounds or rules? That decision has certainly made a huge impact on Rivas's future inside and outside of the ring. Boom. Look. July 27th. This is Oscar Rivas's promoter. Nobody told us anything regarding this situation before the fight or even after. We only learned this information through medias. So they had to find out like I and everybody else had to find out. We are now collecting information wherever it is available and we will take the advice in order to protect Oscar Rivas's interest. Terrible look, new media. Y'all know what it is. We get into the bottom of this. But this Diana Ball, this this don't sound like like the the shit Eric Molina had. Diana Ball is used to achieve the body's every person's dream. Diana Ball is used to achieve the body every person dreams of, and it works really fast, giving you energy, stamina, strength, and ultimately lean muscle and a toned physique. And a lot of people have, you know, this is just speculation now, but a lot of people have talked about Dillian White's actual physique, you know, now versus when he was fighting. And this is just circumstantial. But if you look at him, he, he does look, you know, he looks big. 
and look this is him currently you know he's in good shape look big i'm trying to find a one of the pictures look look this is him now But when he fought Joshua, he didn't look, he, he looked big, but he didn't look like defined and stuff. Anthony Joshua Wayne, man, it's all circumstantial. But like I said, this is not a good look. <clears throat> this is not a good look at all. This is his shape. This is his shape when he fought Anthony Joshua. You guys be the judge, but somebody in UK and BBBFC and all that, they got a they got some explaining to do, and Eric Molina wants answers, and I don't blame him. They're trying to ban him for maybe four years off of uh, the inflammatory, but they allowed, you know, and they he they found out that he tested positive after the fact, but then he had this shit in his system and presented it to him, and they still banned him for two years. They said, nope, it's his fault. So I want to see how they treat the UK fighter and a UK promoter. This, this just this don't look good. Let me know your thoughts. Drop it in the comment section. New medium. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.